Many restaurants like Ocho Cinco in downtown Syracuse are already dog friendly, but under a new law, dogs could be allowed to join their human friends for outdoor dining. Because for a lot of people, that's what you know dogs are, that they're part of the family. Under the proposed law, restaurants would decide if they wanted to allow dogs to sit near owners eating outdoors. Judy Billy and her Yorkie Chihuahua mix Valentino live a short walk away from many Armory Square restaurants. So take them out, you know, daily walks, and it would be great to have your, you know, pet with you. There would be restrictions. Dogs could not go inside. Waiters could not pet dogs. They would have to be on a leash, and they cannot sit on chairs, hopefully preventing what is known in the restaurant world as a lady and the tramp situation. Here you are, the best spaghetti in town. <laughs> when Eileen Escobar and Seamus walk by Ocho Cinco, he waits patiently for a treat. Eileen loves the idea of having him at dinner, but also hopes dog owners respect that not everyone loves four-legged friends. And being just responsible dog owners, which I think is a big, you know, it only takes one person to kind of ruin it for everybody. Dogs are not known to be good tippers, but restaurants like Ocho Cinco still plan to provide outstanding service. I mean, I think it'd be cool if we even got some little water bowls for the dogs and put them yeah. by, you know, brought, have the waiter or waitress bring them out to the table and, you know, the dog can really feel like they're part of the experience. The state Senate has already passed the law for dogs to join us for dinner. The state assembly would need to pass it before the legislative session ends next month. For now, reporting from downtown Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.